Hello again and welcome to the third of our film reviews. I'm Andrew. I'm Rick. And the film we're going to be talking about tonight is Spy Hard from 1996, co-written incidentally by the writers of uh, Scared the Scary Movie franchise and of the films you might know as Date Movie, Meet the Spartans, which I have a, I'm quite a big fan of. I know Rick's seen one of them. I think you saw Date Movie, didn't you? You weren't. No, I'm not a fan of it now. I do like Leslie Nielsen though, I think he's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, Naked Gun's one of my favourite films. Yeah, absolutely. The um, story for Spy Hard, if you don't know, is it's, it's basically one of those, sort of those pastiche films that were very popular in, in the 90s. You know, they're spoofing in the line of fire, Pulp Fiction. But Main, still, mainly oh, um, James Bond. Mainly James Bond. Agent WD-40 here is played by Leslie Nielsen. He's a retired secret agent who comes out of retirement to face his arch enemy, General Rancor, who has a missile that's going to destroy the Earth. And in between, he uh, basically acts out the plots of In the Line of Fire, True Romance, he does the dance off from Pulp Fiction. He also does a, a very funny for me scene from Speed on the uh, on a bus that's moved going through LA. Yeah. Where he manages just to stop it with his feet for a <laughs> <stuff. laughs> Well, at the same time, someone's icing a wedding cake and doing dental surgery, which I think is pretty good. You don't get that on the uh, first bus. I don't think that's buses. very hygienic to do on a bus. No, I don't. You know, you don't get that on the first bus service outside there. Unfortunately. No. But, um,. So what do you think? I mean, this, this was obviously a film that you picked, so what, do you, what did you think? Well, of I grew up uh, with it. My, this was the first film, actually, that a bit personal thing. My stepdad took me to watch at the cinema when so I was about 12, so I was talking about 20 years ago now. But I, I'm a big fan of this. I admit that it's not, it's not perfect. I mean, there's some, the whole storyline with uh, McClarkey, the Mason Gamble character, I don't quite see where that ties in. And there's a couple of, of jokes that fall flat, the, um, the scene in the nunnery. I don't think he's, he's perfect, but I like it. Oh, the sister acting. Yeah, I thought it was a bit, you know, with them going underneath and all singing, uh, you make me want to shout. But I think it's there's a, it's a nice film. It's not. It's the sort of film that you could sit down with your kids and you can watch, you can sit down with your mum and dad and watch, and it's not, you know, it's not rude, it's not aggressively unpleasant, and it's a, it's a fun, fun film, a fun 90 minute time waster. Yeah. Um, my opinion on it is that I really like Leslie Nielsen's character. Yeah. Um, I do definitely prefer him in uh, the Naked Gun films. I just think that uh, in this film, he's, he's the only really thing that I liked about the film. Um, whereas in the Naked Gun films, obviously, you've got them support characters that mm. sort of come back throughout all three of them. Um, but I just, I don't, I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't my fit. I mean, I'm not a big fan of James Bond anyway, so I'm not really gonna like the spoof of James Bond. Although. Um, this came out in '96, didn't it? Yes, '96. It did. I actually, um, I really liked. I'm a big fan of um, the '97 Austin Powers movie, which basically told the same story with mm. with Mike Myers. So, I, if it was a choice, I'd probably prefer to see that. But um, you, you should, if you've not seen a film with Les, Leslie Nielsen in, you need to oh, see a film. Oh, you do. Film. There's some. Bro there's there's ones I would avoid. 2001: A Space Travesty. Don't go near it. Repossess is not perfect, but as it says, there's the Naked Gun trilogy, there's Airplane, there's the brilliant, brilliant Police Squad TV series, which oh, the Naked yeah. Gun's based on, which is just wow. And so, and there is also um, Spy Hard, so yeah, I'm, I'm a fan, I'll admit, but maybe it's because I'm sentimental about the film, but I do admit that there are several flaws, in the, and it's dated very badly, to admit, especially when you're speaking films like In the Line of Fire, yeah. <laughs> and Pulp Fiction, you know, that uh, this hasn't stood the test of time. You do get um, the the one thing I can say about it is you do get Mr. T who get who appears in the film and gets blown up in the opening oh, scene yeah, in the helicopter, and you also get an appearance from Hulk Hogan. Yeah, which, in one point. <laughs> yeah, he, cameo. he just randomly shows up, all dressed in those Hulk gear, and starts fighting. Yeah, it's, there's a couple of good <laughs> gags as well, like the um, the um, you're gonna look like Swiss cheese when they find you, Mr. Mr. Steel. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> oh yeah, I do remember that. I do like that. And yeah, there's some of the, I admit the one-liners do fall down, and the 20 lines in triplicate just to take a piss I thought was quite funny. But I think that was more the way it was delivered than the actual line itself. Yeah. So, so I, I mean, yeah, just because I only like his character in it and I'm not a big fan of um, the rest of the film really, um, I'm going to give it two stars. What, what? I'd give it a four, but then I'm probably because I'm sentimental about it. I think if I'd watched it, you know, just for this review, I probably would have gone with maybe two, three stars. So, yes, that's our review of Spired again. This is available, I, I own this on DVD, so <laughs> more for me. But yeah, you can you can download it, you can buy it. It was on Comedy Central the other night. I imagine it's played on television quite a bit. 
So yeah, it is available to see, but if of the three films we've reviewed so far, I would encourage you, if you haven't seen it, to see Batman. Or if you've seen Batman, go and see Cat Angel. Because that is a film that I think deserves a lot more attention than it gets. Right, thanks for watching, and um, please click subscribe so that you get to see our future reviews. Yeah. And until next time. Good night, thank you.